2019 was a banner year. We had a lot of celebrations, uh, 80th anniversary of the building of Crim Theater, 80th anniversary of the building of the uh, public library. The Rangettes chose their 80th sophomore line, and Halliburton celebrated 80 years in Kilgore. 1939 was the end of the Depression. It was the end of uh, the oil, the biggest part of the oil boom in Kilgore. We experienced our biggest growth. It was a time of prosperity, and uh, it was just a time when we were celebrating all the hard work and prosperity that followed the boom. I do know I have friends that move off, stay away after college, move off, start a family, and they want to come back when they have children to raise and bring them up in Kilgore like they came up. Hello and great morning, Bulldog Nation, and welcome to your schools. Two of the things that you'll discover about Kilgore ISD is that we have a very strong tradition of excellence and we enjoy very high levels of community support. Kilgore is truly a special place to live and work. You'll be hard pressed to find a school system with a more caring, supportive, and dedicated teaching staff who I truly believe have the best interest of our students at the center of everything we do each and every day. Two of the things that I am most proud of here in Kilgore ISD. First is our dual language program. We are proud to host one of the state's leading elementary dual language programs where our students receive their daily instruction completely immersed in both English and Spanish languages. This year alone, our dual language program has hosted visitors from both the state of Texas and other states who have come to learn how Kilgore ISD's dual language program is organized, our practices and procedures, and the expectations we have set for our kiddos. Another proud area for Kilgore ISD is that our high school continues to outscore state averages for our graduating seniors who the state has deemed college, career, and military ready. For example, our college dual credit program. Our school district's continued vision to provide free college credit opportunities for our students combined with our ongoing relationship with Kilgore College is perhaps one of the programs that I am most proud of here in Kilgore ISD. Our students at Kilgore High School currently have the opportunity to take 15 or more college courses at no cost to them. And currently we offer core college dual credit courses in English, mathematics, government and history, and also advanced academic courses such as our certified nursing assistant program and our various welding and advanced technology pathways. Our high school students continue to score above state averages on the state SAT and ACT college readiness exams. And here at Kilgore High School, I'm proud to say that our graduating seniors continue to outscore state averages for college career and readiness. And as your superintendent of schools, I cannot think of a better way to send our kids on to college and the rest of their lives. Since I last spoke to you, Kilgore College has implemented a new academic strategy, developed a new partnership to enhance student success by rewarding our rangers for doing the right things, and has made major strides in energy efficiency. All of these things added together are making for a better learning environment at KC, and thus giving our students a better chance for success in the future. Welcome to the Canterbury Engineering Sciences Building at Kilgore College. In the fall of 2018, Kilgore College embarked on a massive $18 million plus dollar project with the McKinstry Company. This endeavor involved four major projects. The first was the upgrade or replacement of our HVAC and mechanical infrastructure systems. The second included the installation of computerized HVAC control systems so that we could efficiently ensure environments that were conducive to teaching and learning. The third goal included a series of energy efficiency upgrades to include lighting retrofits, the installation of low flow plumbing fixtures, weather striping, and window tinting. The final goal addressed groundwater incursion issues that the college has battled here at Canterbury for years. The college has already seen some utility bills fall by more than 50%. Students now take their courses split into two eight-week terms within a semester. This helps students to focus on a smaller number of courses at a time and helps prevent burnout. Kilgore College is the first college in Northeast Texas and one of the few in the state to implement this innovative approach to college. So how do we know that this works at KC? Well, the proof is in the data when you compare fall 2019 to fall 2018. 
Grades of A, B, or C made up 79% of all course grades. This is an increase from 73% in fall 2018. Each semester, Kilgore College releases the President's List of students who made 4.0 GPAs. The number of students on this list increased by almost 25%. The percentage of students who earned no hours in their first semester at Casey was cut in half, and course withdrawal rates decreased by almost 50%. Truly, we are changing the way students go to college to help them be more successful. I'm at Patterson Chevrolet in Kilgore, one of our community partners within our new Cruise for Success programs here at Kilgore College. You know, it was about three years ago when I first met Merlin and she came to me about this program and I was immediately excited because not does it just give to the college, but it gives to a, a really special uh, student in our area. We always want to support our community, our students. We're going to be able to give this beautiful 2019 Chevrolet Cruise to one of our deserving students this year in April. It's a wonderful program. They just have to be taking six hours or more. They'll be able to register on an app that we have there at the college. And you know, we, what we really want is we want the word Kilgore to come synonymous with Kilgore College and Patterson Chevrolet. We're happy to be a part of it. Kilgore College is constantly striving to continue its mission of providing a learner-centered environment that focuses on student access, success, and completion via collaborative partnerships. With our new strategies and continuous improvements, we are doing our part to help students start their future here at Kilgore College. The support of our community will help us ensure that we can say, mission accomplished. Twenty nineteen was an outstanding year for Kilgore in economic development. The number of agreements KEDC signed with companies um, this year exceeded expectations, as did the numbers those agreements represented in terms of capital investment and job creation. One of the highlights of 2019 was the Wagner Tuning announcement. Wagner Tuning is a German-based high-end automotive parts manufacturer and last year they chose Kilgore to be its North American headquarters. They'll be located in Synergy Park in this brand new 60,000 square foot building. Economic development success is measured primarily uh, by KDC's ability to um, position Kilgore to be attractive and competitive to industries so that they will do three things here. They will um, diversify our economy, invest in our community, and create and retain jobs. 2020 will see KEDC continue to do the things that uh, we do best, and that is work with our existing industries. We will actually do a survey of our existing industries to see what issues they have that we might need to address going forward to give them the ability to be competitive. We will also continue to expand our virtual building program. This is important to us to have a building that is not on the ground, but that someone can see located on a particular lot. We are going to also continue our partnership with KEDC and education because labor force is so important for all of our industries, existing and new. We know what makes Kilgore competitive, both for our existing industries and for the industries that we are seeking to attract. And that is, number one, that we have excellent customer service. We are proactive with our existing industries and we approach our industries that we are attempting to attract to Kilgore with that same mindset. How can we solve your problems? And we have other beautiful assets such as Synergy Park. It is a great location and everyone that comes to town comes and looks at this park and is amazed to find this in Kilgore, Texas. And it is amazing to have the caliber and diversity of industries that we have coming into Synergy Park. In 2019, the Kilgore Chamber of Commerce and Visitors Bureau had a really great year. One of the things that we focused on doing was making certain that we had a positive bottom line. We were successful in achieving that. We also launched several new things. 
we launched a brand new website. We brought back our membership directory and we also focused on creating a couple new events. We brought back business after hours and then we also had the Stars and Scars off-road. Visit Kilgore at the end of 2019 launched a new fresh logo. This brings a cohesion to the marketing for making Kilgore, Texas a destination. In 2020, we're excited to bring back a couple of things that helped shape the Kilgore Chamber of Commerce to what it is today. We're bringing back the Education Committee as well as the Transportation Committee. The Transportation Committee is responsible for assisting in bringing Kilgore the 259 business loop as well as getting 31 widened from Kilgore to Tyler. 2019 Visit Kilgore was the recipient of a Destination Marketing Award from the Texas Association of Convention and Visitors Bureau. We're here at our splash pads today to kind of point out some of our 2019 accomplishments. We have new shade structures built. We have picnic tables inside the shade structures for the convenience so that if anyone wants to have a party or just relaxing while their children at the splash pad. We have six foot tables. We have eight foot tables. The eight foot tables are wheelchair accessible. ASL signs are on the gate that we have. Ambux has worked with us about getting uh, more information out to everyone. Our aquatic wheelchair was provided by anonymous donor. It comes complete with shoulder harnesses, leg extension. Right here it pulls out for leg extension. So it really will accommodate several different needs. 2019 has been a wonderful year for our library. We continue to see an increase in library cards and patrons visiting our library and our circulation. We had a wonderful summer reading program for the summer of 2019. We had over 1,800 people attend our summer reading program events. We were able to bring many exciting things to Kilgore like the Discovery Dome from the Houston Museum of Natural Science and also the NASA exhibit. We were also able to hold two wonderful events in the Texan Theater, the Creature Teacher and Matt Tardy, the Stunt Juggler. In October of 2019, the library celebrated its 80th birthday. We still have a wonderful, beautiful building that is very beloved by us and our community. However, it is showing some signs of aging. We also did some extensive repairs to the basement. We worked on the basement wall from the outside, sealing that up to try and prevent future water damage. Um, the basement has been closed for a long time due to existing water damage. And we are looking at ways to fix this space and reconfigure our current space. We're work working with the architectural firm, Heidel & Associates, to do a master plan study to do some long-term planning for the library over the next 10 to 20 years. This year, we wanted to focus on engaging our community within the library. So we partnered with the Friends of the Kilgore Public Library to do a membership drive and successfully increased Friends of the Library membership by 91%. The Friends of the Kilgore Public Library help with events, programming, and fundraising. Without their support, we would not be able to provide as many events or programs as we do here each year. Two of the most important ones is going to be probably our dog park. We had a continually flooding problem where it was located, so we're going to move it to the corner of Crescent and Houston Street. We're going to incorporate the walking trail with it. I think it's really going to open up a whole new avenue for people and their animals. It's going to be a great opportunity there. Meadowbrook Golf and Event Center. We're adding a cart barn that will accommodate 54 carts. This is a rental. to anyone that wants to keep a cart at our facility and with this amenity it will really make the facility look a lot better. It's cleaned up a lot of the old barns and to get us uh, competitive to other golf courses in our area. We're here at Hare Street Park, which is the future home of the Friendship Playground Project. The Friendship Playground is an inclusive playground that will allow people of all ages and abilities, even if they have physical or medical limitations, to play. We're working with Game Time to provide our playground equipment, which will include swings and a playscape. This project was initially started by the E4 Leadership Group of Kilgore, and we have since partnered with the City of Kilgore to bring the project to completion. In only about 10 years, we'll be celebrating the boom in Kilgore and when it all started and when the, we actually began being a city. Of course, because of the economy in Kilgore being such a boom and bus cycle, we have to forego some maintenance and during the busts and then play catch up during the booms. 
2019 was a banner year for completion of construction projects in the city of Kilgore, especially in the public works and engineering department. Uh, the total sum between uh, of projects completed this year was close to $9 million. One of the projects that was completed that came out of that was the Riverside Dudley Sanitary Sewer Improvements, which was the replacement of about 7,000 feet of underground sewer pipe. One of the ways that we've decided to commemorate the city's investment into our underground infrastructure is by coming up with the commemorative manhole cover. Uh, all the manholes that have been renewed will, you'll see have a commemorative cover. The Chandler Street improvements were completed in about six months, approximately one to two months ahead of schedule. Uh, during that time it was a great disruption to school traffic and to the residents in the area and uh, it was definitely an exercise in patience. We appreciated our partnership with the Kilgore ISD to help us navigate through that. Uh, through school traffic detours. Another project that was completed in 2019 was the Turkey Creek improvements. That project was an improvement to the function and appearance of Turkey Creek through the golf course. Another transportation improvement that was completed in 2019 was the Willow Springs renovation, which was done in partnership with Gregg County. A lot of the drainage and prep work was done by our own City of Kilgore construction crews, with the road paving being done by Gregg County crews. As companies continue to expand and, and grow into the City of Kilgore, we take every opportunity we can to expand, renew, and replace our infrastructure as they come in. One example is the replacement of a four-inch water line to serve businesses on the east side of Highway 135. We partnered with VW Man manufacturing and KEDC to upsize that line to replace it with a 10 inch line to provide better fire protection for the companies in that area, making it better. One of the many public-private partnerships that we've done in the last year is the sidewalk at Jack Ryan, partnering with them to improve the safety and the appearance of uh, one of our public sidewalks. The next project is a parking lot that we're helping them put together. A traffic survey that we did in partnership with Dairy Queen showed that that was a bad, would be a poor intersection and not safe once Dairy Queen located there. And Dairy Queen is sharing the cost with us of redoing Lancer's Strip and taking that big dip out of it and making it more attractive and, and a safer intersection. With that project, we're going to make improvements to deal with the increased traffic that comes with a fast food restaurant. Currently, our construction crews are actually working on the extension of Well Street. And that is a construction project that was designed by the City of Kilgore's Engineering Department. It's currently being constructed by a four-man construction crew of our streets department. In addition to all these projects being completed this year, it doesn't neglect the fact that our crews continue to take care of our system on a day-to-day -day basis with a streets maintenance crew that's busy filling potholes on a daily basis and a water and sewer crew that are out there fixing water breaks and repairing sewer overflows. People may not realize that the state of Texas owns every major artery coming into and out of Kilgore. 42, 259, 135, and every form of market road are maintained by the state. We're also continuing to develop a relationship with the Texas Department of Transportation to expedite projects that directly impact our citizens, but that we as the Public Works Department have no control over, like the traffic circle and industrial drive. We've been told to expect construction on those projects to begin in 2021. Some of the roads that are subject to numerous complaints for ride quality and condition, Main Street, Commerce, I'm happy to report are under contract for design for improvements in 2020. We fully anticipate that the design for these projects will be completed in 2020 in the hopes that construction dollars can be programmed in 2021 or 2022. In addition to all the capital construction projects that are expected in 2020, you can continue to expect all of our public works crews, water, wastewater, streets, and drainage to be excellent caretakers of the city of Kilgore's infrastructure. The abilities of this drone, it can fly in inclement weather and it will also improve our capabilities with uh, search and rescue, with uh, chasing people that, that have ran from us. Uh, we can look at a situation from a distance away. Oh yes sir, we uh, actually took a class online to study for the FAA uh, course or the testing that they have. We have a remote pilot license. We also got other hands-on training specialized just for first responders. We're just getting it off the ground, so to say and uh, no pun intended. As we think about city infrastructure, it's not just limited to roads, water, and wastewater, but it also extends to the over 60 facilities that the city manages and maintains for our community. Years ago, we realized that the condition of many of those facilities was beginning to falter, and we began to do facilities needs assessment. And then tried to determine 
what square footage that we're going to need now and into the future and then design that uh, in a very fiscally responsible manner. What we found was that even after spending millions of dollars to address the ADA compliance needs as well as the facility's maintenance major mechanical issues, we would still be left with a facility that does not meet the police department's long-term needs. And this is our plan into the future. Actually have the fire administration and some fire offices in the uh, building along with us and sharing a lot of those common facilities, thus saving money for the city. In 2019, the Kilgore Fire Department continued to strive for excellence as it maintained its Insurance Services Offices rating ISO of a 2. Only 4% of departments in the nation retain such a rating. This ensures our citizens of a lower insurance rating and it allows the fire department to maintain a safe community. In 2019, we put our rapid response vehicle Tactical 1 into service. Tactical 1 has an ultra high pressure pump that pumps upwards of 1,100 gallons per minute. It enables our firefighters to maneuver inside the structure much easier and quicker. This provided a lower cost than the traditional fire apparatus. It provides lower maintenance costs and it enables our firefighters to attack wildland fires. Also in 2020, we got approved for our new flashover chamber. A flashover chamber is very important in the training of firefighters because it actually simulates the heat that the firefighters will feel. Many of our firefighters coming directly out of the academy have never actually felt the heat of a fire. So it helps them prepare themselves mentally and physically for what they're going to endure in an actual structure fire. The Kilgore Fire Academy has started dual accreditation, actually putting high school students through the fire academy. The Kilgore Fire Department has decided in hopes of recruiting later that we will do a scholarship for a local cadet. Last year we learned that in 2018, we were the 58th safest city in Texas. Now that was cities, 10,000 population or more, but that was out of over 2,000 cities. So we were very delighted that we've been able to impact crime to that extent. Welcome to Kilgore City Pool. Over the last few years, communities have been closing their public pools down. We went to the council a couple years back and said, hey, what would you like to do with our pool? They said, we're committed to provide this service to people. So we redid our deck, redid our pool surface, put lights in, made it handicap accessible. After we reopened in 2019, over 15,000 people came from all over the area to swim in our pool. So we're excited about the 2020 season. For our pool house, we're gonna do some upgrades. We're looking to change out the old fixtures, add new showers, address the handicap accessibility issues we have with this old building. We're looking to add outdoor showers, add a party room in the building, and rearrange our concession stand. So we're looking forward to the new season. I'm excited that we're still keeping a pool. It's one of the largest, oldest outdoor public pools in the area, and it's a great place to be in the summertime. Whataburger Sports Complex parking lot was a great addition to the ball fields in South Kilgore this year. It added over 100 spots and a pavilion that was graciously donated by Ambux. One of the most exciting projects that will be beginning this year is the redevelopment of the Kilgore Youth Soccer and Softball facilities. These facilities were originally constructed and fundraising was done by a number of citizens throughout the community and they built a facility that lasted for almost 25 years. Now though, at the end of its first useful life, it's time for the facility to be renovated and the city's partnering with the Kilgore Youth Softball Association as well as the Kilgore Soccer Association. The plan for the facilities is an incremental one and so it won't happen all at once. In year one, we think we'll be beginning on the softball portion of the facility and making necessary drainage improvements. As we go out into further years, we'll be working on the softball facilities and adding amenities like additional restrooms, new concession facilities, and lighting on both phases of the project. But we're confident that when this project is done, it will serve our community for decades to come. In May last year, for National Preservation Month, the Kilgore Main Street program put on the Imagine the Possibilities tour essentially an open house of the available spaces that we have for lease or purchase in downtown Kilgore. We were able to meet the uh, building owner for 116 South Kilgore Street, where we now have Mitch Mooring Strings and Robert's Violin Studio. We're able to do everything we want here. We have uh, violin and cello lessons in the front, all the way to um, band saws and milling machines in the far back. So just three months later, we were full-blown retail space 
uh, open to the public, and it's been way busier than we ever would have imagined. Every 10 years, the city of Kilgore, well, every city is required to do a comprehensive plan. It's a plan that is set to guide us for the next 10, 20, even 30 years out. It has a number of different components, one of them being the future land use map that identifies the best and most appropriate uses for land throughout the city. We do not want to see an industrial use next to a residential subdivision. Another component, which is the master thoroughfare plan, which is the map that's standing behind me which actually will look at our existing roads that we have within the city of Kilgore, but also determine where the next best place will be for future roads and for upgrade of our existing roads. Beyond that, we've also added a downtown master plan to help us determine the best way to keep our downtown sustainable and rejuvenate it so that it serves the next generation and generations beyond. In our efforts to develop the comprehensive plan, we've reached out to 30 different groups of individual stakeholders throughout the community, as well as having a number of comprehensive plan advisory committee meetings and a open house held at the old post office downtown where the community could come give their input. And I think with the feedback we've gotten from our citizens, we'll come up with a really good document that will lead us into the next decade. The comprehensive plan isn't just another document made to sit on a shelf. This is a set of plans that city staff, developers, and everyone else who has input into determining who Kilgore will be in the future. We use it on a day-to-day -day basis to make decisions and to ensure that what we do actually matches with the goals and the objectives of our community. When the surface water treatment plant saw close to a million and a half dollars worth of improvements of infrastructure that was well past its physical and useful life. Our wastewater plant received over two million dollars worth of improvements to uh, its treatment facilities. Again, these are facilities that hadn't seen any useful uh, or meaningful investment in, in three decades. And so I think uh, 2019 really showed the city's commitment to reinvesting in its infrastructure so that it lasts another 50 to 60 years. Three years ago we began a, a system-wide sanitary sewer system evaluation at the cost of almost uh, a million and a half dollars and that was to assess you know what our system looked like what kind of condition was it was it in most of the infrastructure in the city of Kilgore and water and wastewater was built in the 1950s and we're still using it today. Our core events in Kilgore wouldn't happen without our volunteers and the community joining together to help us out where they can. A great example of this is Kilgore Oktoberfest. This is a Main Street event, but we partner with Real East Texas, Kilgore College Culinary Arts, with Kilgore High School and their numerous student organizations, local musicians, our downtown merchants, local restaurants, as well as our civic-minded volunteers and nearly every city department to make this event a success for Kilgore and for our downtown. Local businesses and organisations also help with Kilgore's success by donating their time on many different projects. An example is Expert Lawn Care, who donated their time over the summer to bring vibrancy to our downtown by refreshing the flower beds. We received so many compliments and beautiful photos due to their dedication. We're looking for the historical marker that was put in by the Dansby alumni in the city of Kilgore, celebrating the location of the historic black schools in Kilgore. The majority of work on the marker was done by Dolores or our line and her committee. They did all the historical research that had to be done for the marker and raised the money for this and the bench. Okay, another historical marker that was dedicated in 2019 was the Danville Community Marker. It celebrates the location of the town that founded Kilgore. It put the railroad bypass Kilgore in 1873 and Buck Kilgore established Kilgore. Churches and residents and everyone up and moved from Danville to Kilgore and it almost ceased to exist. Evelyn Boulding went to a great deal of trouble to research the history and the families that founded the community and she got with the state and got approval for the historical marker that is on her property which is part of the old Danville community farm. One of the biggest things that will happen this year is the 2020 census. The results collected once a decade help determine how billions of dollars in federal funding flow into states and communities each year, 
The results of the census also determine the number of seats each state will have in the U.S. House of Representatives, and they are used to draw congressional and state legislative districts. It's hard to overstate how important the 2020 census is, especially as we see so much growth here in Texas. So tell your friends, family, neighbours and co-workers to make sure that they're ready for the 2020 census because your responses matter. None of what we've talked about here today would have been possible without our public servants who serve Kilgore's community every day. Our school teachers, our police officers, firefighters, street maintenance workers, utility billing clerks, county employees, and everyone else who gives their life daily to the benefit of our Kilgore citizens. They're truly the stars of Kilgore.